We're gonna have another baby. Babe, that's not funny. <laughs> Shut the f So, I, I can't believe I'm recording this video. I am eight weeks postpartum uh, this past Friday. So two days after being eight weeks postpartum. And I don't even know what to say. To me, it's honestly gotta be like one in a trillion if I'm pregnant because I haven't had my period yet. I'm nursing and Jeff and I have only like four times and there was no uh what do I want to say like we were being safe however I got sick this past week and it could just be the time of year but I have not thrown up I can't even remember the last time I've thrown up because I was sick and I look awful right now but anyways and both times being pregnant, I knew I was pregnant because I got smell, I got nauseous from the smell of chicken. And I made chicken like two days ago and I was nauseous. But I don't know if that's because I got sick like the day before and I was still having a hard time with food. I think it was a 24 hour flu or stomach bug because um, I had all the classic symptoms for the 24 hour flu. So I don't know if the smell of chicken was just making me nauseous because of that or if because I'm pregnant, but my father-in-law made a comment like, oh, maybe it's morning sickness. And because I got pregnant with the IUD with Calvin, I feel like I have a form of PTSD. And like Jeff could breathe on me right now and I would think that I'm pregnant. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to take this. And I have two tests to show you that I took on a clear blue, or not clear blue, but like a blue dye. Jeff went to the store and I said, can you just go to the store and get me some tests? It doesn't matter which ones. And for whatever reason, I didn't tell him to get pink dye because blue dye can play tricks with your eyes and get really weird. So anyways, I'll show you those tests because they, the first one looks like there was two lines, but I think it was an evaporation or indent line. Um, and the second one looks like an evaporation line, but I'll show you those. And those were like CVS brand um, pregnancy tests. So this is a digital one and it's first response. So he definitely did not cheap out on these. There's two of them. I'm hoping I'm only going to have to take one. So let me go take this and then we'll wait to blinking I didn't think I was pregnant last time when I had the IUD I should turn it over but if this turns up positive you guys what it just took the test and I was talking to the camera okay if this turns up positive I will really have a mental breakdown Hi. No. Oh, you want to play no. with pregnancy tests? That's no. good. Hi. Say good morning. I'm waiting for it to go. How long does it take? So, you were way too excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a baby eight weeks ago. Goodbye. Wait, come here. What do you want it to say? Uh, I don't care either way. Can I tell them oh. about our method of birth control? Uh, yeah, yeah. Jeff had a vasectomy on Friday. So, is it still blinking? So, in addition to that, I mean, we have to wait a while to make sure everything is like in the clear, but I'm gonna go on um, the pill again because that's what uh, I had before the IUD. But anyways, it worked. this would be like our last 
like chance essentially to get pregnant if that was to be positive which dear lord children are such blessings and we have the best little kids ever like i thought peyton was a good baby kelvin is like putting her to shame because he's so great but i cannot i cannot do a third god gave me two arms i can only handle two children um and they're just way they would be way 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 too close in age like i thought eight months apart was close in age talk about eight weeks mm. what is it is it still blinking are you you sure you ready? it it says it are you ready i uh, know but go ahead we're gonna have another baby babe that's not funny <laughs> shut the <laughs> <laughs> oh my god why would you do that to me you're not pregnant why would you do that to me you guys <laughs> i never swear in front of peyton no. i'm sorry honey <laughs> you're not pregnant it says no right there please god <laughs> <laughs> my heart i think literally <laughs> fell through my butt <laughs> it's that funny i know it's nothing to joke about we've been fine either way we've been fine either way we have a great family, you're an awesome mom. And she loves bagels. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now that I'm done having a heart attack. We're also done having kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why people buy her children toys because she'd much rather play with a... She would much rather play with a sound machine and a bag of bagels. Mm -hmm. Right, P? Oi. So I just got into Peyton's room and I have some laundry to fold, so I'm just gonna hang out in here while she plays out in the hallway. But little update so our house our new house you guys is like literally two weeks away from being done however they still don't have the gas line hooked up to the house so we obviously cannot close on the house until the gas until the gas is hooked up so our house is the one we're in right now is going on the market this week and we're doing an open house next saturday so this week is going to be crazy with like decluttering and just putting things away that we've had on our list i have a lot of things that will be listed on my poshmark um, a lot of things that are going to be listed on my Poshmark just to, again, declutter and get rid of things before we move. So I'll have that information listed down below if you're looking for, like, kids' clothes. I'll have some of my stuff on there, too. See Peyton's little ponytail. It's been three months since we talked. Um, I don't know if you got a look at his face or not. Oh, yeah, he's kind of a bad angle. Um, he just got done eating. He's been doing this thing, you guys. It's hit and miss. But he'll, like, wake up. Not really wake up, but he'll, like, in his sleep start crying, like, really good. But he's still sleeping. So I don't wake him up or anything because I don't know if it's, like, a night terror. It only lasts, like, a couple seconds. But let me know in the comments if your baby's ever did that because Peyton never did so anyways I'm gonna get her little something ready to eat for when she comes out here I'm gonna empty the dishwasher when she's having a little bit of a snack and then her and I are gonna go run some errands we have a birthday party next weekend so I'm gonna go to Kohl's make some returns and then buy um, her little friend a birthday present possibly go to target depending on what her mood is like and then 
come home. Jeff and I are doing the Bean Boozle Challenge. Yeah, we're gonna do that today, probably during her second nap. She took a first nap really early, so she will definitely be taking a second nap today. And then this little guy naps pretty much all day. Don't you, baby? You guys, he's getting so big. He's so handsome. Right, puppy? Ugh, I'm gonna miss the newborn snuggles so much. He still smells like a baby. It's the bestest ever. So I'm gonna lay him down and go get her since Jeff can't pick anything up over five pounds. He technically can't even pick him up. So it's been a very interesting weekend, kind of soloing it since Jeff can't do anything. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna go get her. Having a go-gurt for the first time. <laughs> Costco didn't have her normal like Stonyfield drinkable yogurt, so I had to get the go-gurts and it's somewhat terrifying. What do you think? Show me your bracelet. Say my Uncle Brad got me this. It has your name on it. So pretty. Pretty bracelet for a pretty girl, right? Look at your cute buns, girl. No, Calvin. We're gonna do some tummy time in a second when mom can pay more attention to you. Right? Uh oh. We drooling. It's okay, right, pups? You look so big. Peyton's having a little snack. Mom's gonna empty the dishwasher. Jeff's on the floor with Calvin. Yeah, just show my butt to the world. <laughs> Tell us something, buddy. Do you feel lonely in a prison? Oh, there we go. Cool. You can give us a little smile. Oh, okay. Are you happy now? Show me happy feet. Happy feet. Wow. Happy feet. Oh, here, kid ones. Perfect. So we found her some frozen books and a frozen card, right? And I'm trying to find her like a little something extra, like frozen socks or slippers. See if they have any frozen socks or something. They didn't want any toys, so I'm trying to avoid that. And I don't know her size, so. Let's see if I can find her one other little thing. Jeff and I, I'm recording two videos right now, simultaneously. Jeff and I are getting prepared to do the Bean Boozle Challenge. So again, Ice cubes. if you haven't seen it. These count as my macros? I don't know. And we're doing this video in collaboration with another YouTube family. They're called The Marvin Family. I'll have their channel linked down below. They're cool people. Yes. And they are from our hometown back in Michigan. Yeah. Um, that is your teeth. And they haven't gotten to a thousand subscribers yet. So if you could do me a huge favor 
and go check out their channel. They're super cute. They have two little girls and they do like daily vlogs like this. I think you guys will like them. So again, they'll be linked down below. So do we have to eat this whole box? I don't know, we'll have to figure it out in here. Let's see if we can get you in the frame. There we go. Oh, there's like a little spinner on top. Oh, it's in here. Yeah. So I think, I mean, there's only so much, there's a lot of extra ones in here. Are we supposed, what's this for? I don't know, I thought you knew what you were doing here. Okay, a few tips to get you started. Have a trash can handy, awesome. Jesus. Trust us, you'll need it. Do not let wimps or crybabies play this game. Okay, maybe let them play after all. It can be fun to watch. Do fake out your friends while playing if you can. Got stink bug. Try to keep a good poker face and swear it is toasted marshmallow. Do make up your own rules. This is being boozled where anything goes. Your imagination is your only limit. So I say we just take them at the same time, right? I guess spin the thingy. Well, yeah, I know. Do you have a pen so you can mark off which ones you've done? Well, I can remember. No, you can't. Trust me, Laura. You can't remember anything. That's not true. That's so mean. You're so mean That's to me. Mean. Okay, so we're gonna pause this video here and record the boozle challenge. All right, so Peyton just had a bath. Jeff is making caramel apples right now. He's trying to figure out the macros, but if there was smell of vision, you'd want to smell our kitchen right now because it smells so good. But I just realized as the pregnancy tests were sitting right here that I forgot to show you guys the blue dye ones. So I thought I'd show you what they looked like because they look pretty, the one looks pretty legit. So hopefully. Hey baby, what's wrong? I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this. So this is the first one. Can you guys see the second line? Sorry for Peyton, it's kind of whining. I can totally see it on camera, so hopefully you guys can see it. But this is what made me think that I was pregnant and going psycho and I was like having a mental breakdown, thinking that I was, and then I took the second one like, I don't know, a day and a half later, and there's a slight line, but it's not as bad. So if you're in the process of trying to get pregnant for the first time, I would not recommend blue dye tests at all. Especially, probably like store brand ones. With Calvin, I took like Amazon pink dye tests and those worked great and they're really inexpensive. Just wanted to show you guys what that looked like because it looked pretty legit. Hey guys, I was just sitting here and editing this video and I realized I never had an outro. So with all that being said, I hope you guys really liked this vlog. I had fun putting it together for and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.